I'm just putting my voice over this video I created, so sorry if it seems a little rushed. I'll explain more at the end, so after the video, you can just stick around and listen. In this video, I will be showing you how to set up your own uh, proxy or phone proxy. Uh, uh, you, I, I used this previously in my other video, but I did, did have to shut it down. So what we are going to use is called a program called a Hot Proxy. So you just go to their website, there's a link in the sidebar. Uh, you can just click on that download link in front and then choose this first one for Windows. And you can save it anywhere and unextract it uh, with whatever you normally use. And the folder extracts has all the files in it uh, that actually run this proxy. So once you open this folder here, you're going to see a few folders and files. The ones we're interested in are the ones that are called Hot Proxy Admin and just Hot Proxy. So we're going to open the Hot Proxy Admin and this uh, basically allows us to log into the admin section of the website to uh, kind of configure uh, settings and add users. It also gives you a link on uh, where to go. So once you go here, you're going to see four icons. Uh, the one we're going to use today are configure and uh, create user. So once you click on configure, uh, the first link here, uh, basically every time you turn on your phone or open a browser, it's the first uh, web page you'll go to. You can just change that to whatever you like. The second part here is going to be the proxy or the port part. Uh, here you can change this to whatever, you can leave it the same. Next part, I leave on no. Uh, that just allows you to log into websites like MySpace or Facebook or even YouTube. Alright, now we're going to click on create user. Uh, you need to have a user uh, in order to actually use this. Uh, only username and password field are needed. However, you can uh, add the rest in uh, if you're like adding friends or just kind of random people and you want to kind of keep note on who they are. So I'm just going to fill this out just for kind of testing purposes. You can also set an expiration date on when they'll expire. I, I use this uh, if someone only needed temporary access for like a week or something. Uh, if you do plan on charging people for this, I, I guess it's a good way to kind of keep keep a track on uh, how how much they pay for, how long they pay for. It also has notes and the store password and plain text is basically uh, it'll store them in like a text file. So if you lose their password or if they lose the password, you can look it up that way. It's not very secure, but it works. And it, uh, this program also has the ability to uh, view logs. Um, we haven't used this at all, so the logs are uh, empty. Uh, however, when you do have logs here, you'll be able to actually uh, see what uh, websites people have gone to and how many times have they've accessed this. Uh, it's, a good way of it's a good way of tracking abuse. Um, if you have some kind of router or firewall, you'll need to forward or allow the ports. Um, Portforward.com is a good way to kind of learn this, uh, learn how to do this. I was just clicking on random links. Uh, there's no way to enter like like a manual port number. They have like a list of programs. Uh, this website you can go to if you don't know how to kind of get a general idea. Um, they have a list of like almost every router out there. Um, once you click on your router, you'll, you'll go to like a list of programs. Uh, this doesn't have the program we're looking at, so I just clicked on a random one. Uh, you will need to know your internal IP address at the end if you don't know how to. I'll go into a little more detail on how to get that. But you could pretty much ignore this section of the video. Uh, it doesn't really have anything to do with um, how we forward those ports. You will also need to, uh, to allow them on your firewalls if you do have any. Um, firewalls do sometimes cause a problem with this program here. Uh, and basically, um, what I use mostly when I, when I had my this on my razor, I'd used a, a website by a hack of the razor, and basically it's a pre-made uh, web page for a phone. It's customized just for phones, so it fits perfectly on there. It doesn't take a while to load. Um, there's a few uh, kind of quick links at the top here. One would be the mail. This leads to uh, a website you can check your mail. And then there's like the eBuddies, and then there's a weather, and of course there's uh, the Google Maps, and then there's like a U smaller version of YouTube. And here you can type in your link here, or you can use the favorite the 
WAP mobile version. And basically, it just loads this, so if you do have a slower version of the internet, you don't have to load all the ads on the bottom. And any web page, any web page you go to, it's going to think you're on a mobile browser, so it might uh, kind of display it all funny. Uh, but on your phone, it, it will display it correctly. And this here is my website. Uh, I'll try to update it a little bit more. Um, and that folder where we started the hot proxy admin, there's a different folder called, uh, or file called hot proxy. You do need to actually uh, double click on that to run that to actually enable the proxy. And that will uh, that will be what runs it. And it has to stay open. And it's kind of like a command prompt to give you some information there. Um, but I just want to say thank you for uh, all the support. I've gotten tons of emails thanking me for uh, some of the Motorola phone tool and some of the tutorials I've done. Um, if you do have any video requests or just general support, uh, there's a link in the sidebar for the new contact page. I think it's a little easier. Uh, sometimes the emails are getting caught in my spam filter. Um, I do just want to say that I am taking donations. I did get a new Windows computer and my webcam does not work for it. So basically I have to screen record my Windows and uh, send this to my Mac to actually do a video editing. So uh, any donations would be helpful. Again, link on the sidebar for that as well. Um, also, any video requests, again, link on the sidebar. You can send anything. Um, I'll either email you back saying, hey, I can do this, or I can't. And uh, if I can, I will let you know uh, when the new video is out. I will send you an email. Uh, but I just wanted to say thank you for watching this video. Um, and if you want to get in contact with me, uh, use the contact form. Don't uh, send me a message in YouTube because I will not reply back to it. Thank you very much.